for all of the aspiring artists, musicians, producers, whatever, my only advice is to just love the music and, and love it sincerely because and respect the music. And if you do that, it means that you will do all the other things that you need to do. So now you're dealing with the, the, mm. this side of the world, basically, like yeah. you know, like with, with Kendrick now, with uh, with Kanye, with stuff, and mm. you know, and no no theory of regativity now. Mm -hmm. It's a total <laughs> like yo, a reggae this, you know. Yeah. How, how, how this album come about now? Um, I've, I was always wanted to do a, a reggae project since I did um, something's got to give in 2000 and about five that. Mm -hmm. When my daughter was born, like I said, I was going through, you know, mm -hmm. so I had some mental changes in that time, and so I wanted to do a project that wouldn't, it wouldn't just be a dancehall project, and then you just put two reggae tunes on it. And mm -hmm. I mean, I really feel like I didn't want, you know, do it in a way that it would give the, the music its own space. And mm -hmm. you know, even more so over the last, like, you know, two years, I've just been having, um, you know, just kind of, you just gravitating towards that. I mean, I feel the music based on you know, what I'm feeling, you know what I mean? And, and, and disconnected from everything external. Mm -hmm. So that's what this album is about, just, you know, just holding a vibe, reggae music and, and keeping it real. So you're uh, under um, BP? Mm -hmm. No, this, no? This, this, this album was released on, on my, um, my label, uh, Sound Age Entertainment. Okay. Yeah, um, and in, in Europe, we have a, a distribution partner, a Digital, Jamaica Digital. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, um, so, you know, recording this project, like I said, was just about holding a vibe of the music and just, you know, keeping it real. And like I said, you know, it's not about arrogance or trying to prove anything. It was just about doing some music, you know, what, what we really feel. And, you know, so far it has been excellent. Like, you know, the, the, you know, the reception just, had, you know, just more than I could ever dream of, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, we're just thankful for that again, understanding, so, you know, as I said, music know what we're not, you know? But it's a good vibe and, you know, um, we have some work to do now around that in terms of to keep this momentum going. I mean, we debuted, you know, on the Billboard reggae chart at number three and, you know, all over the iTunes wow. charts and all of that, you know what I mean? So it's a good vibe. So we have videos coming. Um, going to be doing... Push? Yeah, what's the push here in that yeah, album? Yeah, we're going to... Right, so first of all, um, so the Mix Up song, which is, mm. has been damaging the place for quite some time, mm. We got a, a, a BET Jams debut, so it's now being played on BET Jams and, um, um, you know what I mean, M, M, what's that our name, um, BET Jams and, and, a, and a couple of other, you know, major um, channels. And then, you know, we'll be doing the, we'll be doing the, the video for Stronger before the end of the mm, month. And stronger. then we're going to be also videoing um, Crazy with Alicia Imura. Yeah. Yeah, man. Um, so, yeah, so, you know, we have videos coming and, you know, like we said, we keep, you know, doing as much as, you know, we can promotion-wise. I'll be in Europe at the end of this month as well, mm -hmm. you know, have some concerts over that side, uh, UK, mm -hmm. and then um, some of the festivals in Europe, and you know what I mean? So, basically, you're hitting the summer, right? Yeah, man, you know, yeah, we're hitting the road and thing, and, um, you know, so far, like I say, it's been it's going really well, and, you know, the reception for the album is great, mm -hmm. and so... You coming um, out with a vinyl or... No? Yeah, well, yeah. A, a lot of people asking for it, so we're definitely... We, should, yeah, yeah we're, de we're definitely going to have to do some vinyl. I mean, the but, mix of the stronger... Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's like, but here's the thing, I, um, I think what, what, what I want to do for the vinyl is, is do, like, even... Um, like a special edition for the vinyl, so I might put like two bonus tracks on there. Uh, you know what yeah, I mean? That kind of yeah. vibe. You know, like a, a remix or something, mm -hmm. or one of the yeah, or yeah. a few other songs. So, you know, we're making it making it interesting. You yeah, know what I mean? Sounds good. That sounds yeah, man. Good, man. Well, um, uh, one last message to your mm -hmm. um, fans, them out there, and and you know, uh, like the the uh, the youth who wants to become an artist, and you know, well, look up to assassin. You know, what kind of message we can give them? Well, for for all of the aspiring artists, musicians, producers, whatever. My only advice is to just love the music and, and love it sincerely because, and respect the music. And if you do that, it means that you will do all the other things that you need to do. Mm -hmm. So you will, you will, you will, um, you know, you won't put out 
songs just to put out songs so you can go and try and make sure that you, you know, you're observing all of the um, faculties and you know, making sure that you're covering you know, all of what you need to cover. If you respect and you love the art form as you should. It means say, as an artist, if you love the music, you're going to develop yourself. So you know, I go depend on the track I read like Donkey, I go run some lap and, and make mm -hmm. sure so you're fit enough for the thing. And you know, I go rely upon art or tune for keep you upon the uh, and key. It's easy. You know, you got to get some, you know what I mean? So, yeah. so respect yeah. the music and love the music. That, that's my only advice.